Welcome to Electron Line. Now we've come to the point where we're going to learn about linear regression. So what is linear regression? Well, in short, we have a definition here. It is finding a linear relationship between two sets of data and use that relationship to define a linear equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So in a graphical format, we have some data that relates one variable to another. We place it on the scatter diagram and we begin to see a correlation. So then we draw what we call a best fit line. And essentially, doing linear regression is finding that best fit line. And we'll show you how to do that. Once we find the best fit line, we can then find the equation to that line in the form of y equals mx plus b, which is a linear equation we've learned in algebra. So we have the independent variable and the dependent variable. We call that the input data and the output data. The ultimate goal then is to set up a mechanism using that equation so that if we have an input of a particular variable that may not be part of our data set, but that wants to, so we want to predict an outcome when we put a particular income or input into our machine, so to speak, that defines y equals mx plus b, then we get out a predicted y value when we put in a particular x value. And that's the whole idea. Use the data to come up with a relationship, that's called linear regression. We come up with the equation, we then can put input data, and then we get output data as a particular result of what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out some relationship between the input and the output data in such a way we can predict what will happen in the future or, what, or we can predict what may happen when we have a specific input, a specific x variable, to see what the corresponding y value is. And that's what it's all about when we're talking about linear regression. So we'll learn how to do that. First, we'll get, get a more mathematical viewpoint of what linear regression is before we give you the equations and show you how to actually calculate the linear regression. And that is how it's done.